Right, right, so right. then I started thinking, okay, you know, my cost of re- of of uh, construction is very low. I own a small construction company. I'm not big by any means. Yeah. Um, I have ten guys that work for me, so my cost of construction is very low. Right. So I started thinking, okay, if I could find these houses that have a pretty big lot on the back, I didn't know that SB9 was going to come about. Right. So I just okay. thought, okay, you could build if you have enough square footage. Again, I didn't know if you have enough square footage. <laughs> let me. Um, let me, uh, you know, build some houses in the back. Yeah. And sure enough, um, I started finding all of these properties. I had 8,500 to 9,500 square feet. Okay. And I didn't know that the alley access was something good. So they would all have alley accesses. Yeah. And I started alley access is a good plans. thing. Yeah. 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 So I started submitting plans to the city and uh, SB9 came about. Okay. And I started doubling them. So SB9 allows you to build up to two units on top of your actual residence okay. that you have in your house. Okay. So you have three units. Okay. SB10 allows you, if you have enough square footage and enough setbacks, to split the lots. Ah, uh, okay. So you could split the lot, and on, and on each, each single lot, you could do the SB9, so you could have a house and two more units in one lot, and on the other lot, you have another house and two more units. So let me ask you about that. So could you do, could, is it, is it kind of serial, right? You do SB nine and then you do SB 10 or could you yes. buy a big lot and then do SB 10 first and then SB nine or is it SB nine then 10? You could do both. You could okay. do both. Um, you could do both. Um, for me, I have two properties that I've actually done both SB nine and SB 10 that I went from literally one single family residence to now six houses. So let's, yeah. let's walk through the, well, let's walk through the first one of those. Yeah. So, what, so you did that in the last 18, 24 months, something like yeah, that? Yeah, I did it. I'm doing it actually as we speak right now. Adrian was there yesterday. He actually dropped me off to the house that, that I'm doing that now. So I had I had a single family residence that I did SB9 on so I could build two more units on that lot. And my architect, Heriberto Espinoza, he's with VDLR. Actually, if anybody, and I'm not trying to promote or plug anybody in you guys' show, but he is a phenomenal, phenomenal architect. I've worked with him probably the last three years. He's actually mm-hmm. got a with Adrian's. He's done all of mine. Is he's he in Southern per- California? Or in Southern California. Yeah. Okay. Incredible guy. He's cool. doing my personal residence. Actually, I just bought a lot that I'm going to build my home on and he's doing that as well. Nice. well do me a favor, it. Eddie, just real quick. Eddie, do me a favor. Send me yeah. a text or Adrian with his, yes. uh, I don't know, phone number or email Absolutely. and I'll add it to the show notes. Absolutely. So he was the one that gave me the idea. He's like, hey man, why don't we do the SP9, SP10? You have enough setback, enough land that you can split the lots. So what I'm doing is I have a house in the front and a house in the back. Okay. I'm going to split the lots and I'm okay. going to have a house and a duplex in the front and a house and a duplex in the back. Wow. So I'm going to, I went from one unit to basically six units. Wow. What, what are the numbers on that? So what, what would that look like uh, when you're done? As far as the rents or as far as what? Rents rent and value. So the value, I bought the property from a really good friend of mine, Kevin Watson. He gave me the deal about two years ago. or no, about a year and a half ago. I bought it for three thirty. Um, I'm going to be all in. And mind you, this is my cost of building. You know, it, it's fairly low. So but I'll be all in about probably six to seven hundred grand on the build itself. And because okay. of two different APNs now, because they're two different lots, each each lot is probably going to go for about, I'm going to say about seven fifty because you have a house. And a duplex in the back, with each with their own address, their own gas meter, their own electrical meter. Now, water is very different with every city. You could actually pay for the city to install a, you know, a separate water meter to each unit. I choose not to do that because I'm not selling them. I'm keeping them for my rental portfolio. And I actually split the water with my tenant. So let's say I have, you know, three units. I tell every tenant, hey, we're all going to pay a fourth. I don't live there, right? I don't live there, but I'm going to help pay a fourth. So if you take 10 showers and the other guy only takes one, it doesn't matter. I'm covering his overage of the water. And everyone is super happy with that. Everyone agrees. So I don't come out of pocket. I mean, I come out of pocket very minimal when it comes to water because I'm splitting it four ways or five or six or however however many units I have. I always split it plus one because I'm that extra one that's covering it. 